Hey guys, this is how you make a uh, Lego missile pad. Out of Legos. <laughs> this is what you make in part one. If you didn't watch part one, you make the actual missile. So if you haven't seen part one, go back and watch that. Unless you already have your own homemade missile with a back thing like that. So I'm going to show you how to make the missile pad. First, let's start with this. You grab one. You're going to need two two by sixes and just put those next to each other and then get a one by six and just put it right under so you're kind of just sticking it right under it the one by six goes under the two by six so it's you make two of them and it should just go like that okay then you get one of these big uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, six by four. You need two of them. And you just put them down like that. So it makes like a T for my name, Tommy. <laughs> you make two of them with the uh, two. And uh, that's, that's one of the pads. And then you get uh, another one by six. Just stick it right there so the T is kind of deformed now. It's like that now. T only has one side. And what you're going to fill in with that side is uh, this. It's uh, one, two, three, four, a two by six with holes in the middle. And you're going to need that and you place that right there. And you just connect them. Clap, 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 clap. Then you make that. And the back is completely like all of them are all uh so it's like should be thin pretty much. On the bottom there should be nothing. If you're hearing that. Oh yeah, we never put a one by six on the other side to make a deformed T. So you should do that. So then it's just like that. Perfect. Then you have that so far. Uh, I guess we can just start with this part here. This is the back plate. It's a, uh, a 2x4, a thick 2x4, so it's a thick 2x4, and you grab your base plate now, it's basically our base plate, and you just stick that on like that, it's kind of hard to see, hold on, whenever I turn this light on, it makes everything a little easier to see somehow, I don't know how this does, so we put that there. So you put that just so it's touching our uh, middle part with the holes. And then you just put another one on there so it's just like that and it has two spaces open. Okay, then you get this one with the holes. Stick it right on there like that. You should have a empty spot because we're not done yet. So we still gotta just grab this and just place it on there like that. So this is what you should have so far with ground. And then what you do is you just get these ramps. A one by four ramp. And you just add it like that. You should make a basic thing so far. Oh yeah, this is a, should have a few uh, spare thin parts too, then you just go along the side, putting any, oh, oops, didn't mean to put that, uh, yeah, actually you want it there, <laughs> kind of confusing, putting any extra pieces along the side, get the one by sixes and just put them right there right there the one by sixes all across there just to make like a little circular pad so it's like caution stay back 
and it should eventually just completely form around form around the square. It doesn't really matter how you do it, it just needs to form around like a square. Oh yeah, I added these just so it would be a little bit more stable. You flip it over and then you just stick them in wherever you want. Wherever it's like collapsing the most, if it is. If it is collapsing. It shouldn't. But you gotta make sure you don't cover the... What I just did on accident, I forgot that we are gonna put that piece in. Make sure it's not covering the holes on the... On the, uh... 2x6, you don't want it covering the holes. I just made that mistake. Don't make that mistake. So you don't really have all the options to put these, but you have most options, and I just decided to put them on the side. And this is the easy part. This is a kind of rare piece. I don't really know where you can find it. I have no clue where I got it. I kind of just found it laying around. All you do is just hook it on there. Actually... Yeah, you just took them like right around here, pretty much, on your second square. On the one by six on the second square, this is the one by six on the second square. You get a uh, this little turning handle thing. Don't really know what these are called either. It's kind of like that. Then you can place that wherever you want, wherever you want the trigger to be to launch the rocket. I picked. Uh, right here. And you can put your missile in if you have had this missile from the last video, part one. Hopefully this was clear to you. I'm, I uh, realized this was a little bit difficult of a video. Uh, I barely even understood it. Uh, I don't know if you guys understood it very well, but I tried my best to explain it as good as possible. It's a little hard to explain. Uh, if you guys have troubles making this, put it in the comments below. And if I get more than six or six or five people complaining about how hard it is, I will uh, make another tutorial and hopefully make it a little bit easier. Oh, I have no clue what just happened. It just kind of exploded. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Oops, put this in the wrong spot. <laughs> so that's a tutorial on how to make a missile. Uh, I'll make walkthroughs for videos this week around, uh, today's Thursday. I can't do it this week because I'm camping for scouts. Um, getting a robotics merit badge in Scouts, that's a new merit badge. You make a robot and it has to work, that is pretty awesome. But that's the merit badge I'm getting there, so comment, subscribe, like. I still want Toby Games to play a match with me, any match, I don't really care. Someone, I think, uh, someone just sent me a friend request, which is kind of strange. Just right now at the end of the video, so I'll check that out, uh subscribe, like, comment. Uh, I kind of still want Toby Games and Captain Sparkles to play in a match with me. I'm always open if they watch one of these videos, so that's why I'm putting in every video, just in case they actually watch one. So, yeah, subscribe, like, please check out the other videos. I have mouse droids, riot shields, sniper rifles, uh, all out of Legos, flamethrowers, gravity hammers, uh, mouse droids, if I didn't say that, a simple ray gun kind of thing. I show you how to make this with a little ray gun type thing. I show you how to make a radar. Uh, I show you how to make a speaker. These are just other things. Uh, a riot shield. I show you how to make a snap. Now this is cool. Sniper rifle with a scope. It's supposed to be an intervention, but it looks kind of like a 50 cal. I don't really care what kind of sniper rifle you guys say it is, but you know, 
Uh, let me get my gravity hammer, because that is the coolest one. It is my favorite gravity hammer. So, uh, mouse droid. So, if you guys just go to my channel, I just want to view on my channel. I don't really care. Please subscribe, though, because I'm making videos, like, every week. I, I make, like, five LEGO tutorials a week, which is pretty impressive. And I'm starting to run out of stuff to make. So, put it in the comments and I'll make it. And that's a tutorial on how to make a missile. So, comment, subscribe, like. I said that, like, 50 times.